Oh, do you love me? <laughs> Good morning. Sorry we're running a little late today. I decided to sleep in. Um, this is Acts chapter 8, verses 1 through 4. It says, Saul was one of the witnesses, and he agreed completely with the killing of Stephen. A great wave of persecution began that day, sweeping over the church in Jerusalem, and all the believers, except the apostles, were scattered through the regions of Judea and Samaria. Some devout men came and buried Stephen with great mourning. But Saul was going everywhere to destroy the church. He went from house to house, dragging out both men and women to throw them in prison. But the believers who were scattered preached the good news about Jesus wherever they went. You know, how are we supposed to deal with situations that don't turn out as we think they ought to? The, the circumstance could be as benign as not getting a pay raise at work or as serious as losing the life of a loved one. How we approach these is a reflection of our understanding of God's sovereignty, his plan. Is he in control or not? You know, the death of Stephen, it was a tragic event for his family and for the early church. There's no doubt there that that is Stephen being killed for his faith, that, that that was an event that struck fear into the hearts of the believers, and they fled from the persecution that followed. But God, in his sovereign plan, used this event to force the believers out of their comfortable home in Jerusalem. You see, at this point in time, most of the believers in Christ were still located right in the city of Jerusalem. They would gather in the temple. They would still be there to pray with each other. That's where the gospel was being shared. And those outside of the city of Jerusalem, they'd never heard the gospel. And when Stephen was killed, it says everybody, all the believers except for the apostles, they all fled because the Jews, Jewish leaders, including Saul, who would later become Paul, were taking believers, dragging them out of their homes and throwing them into prison. So these people fled. But as they fled, they were sharing the good news of what Christ had done for them. So God and his plan used this event to force them out of Jerusalem. They were dispersed all over the, the land of Israel, Judea in the south, Samaria in the north, and they started to spread from there. Uh, and they went to people who had never had the opportunity to hear the good news of Jesus. The result of this tragedy was that the believers who were scattered preached the good news about Jesus wherever they went. That's what it says in verse 4. Hey, so the next time that we face one of those circumstances that appears to be a tragic event, maybe we ought to pause and look for the opportunity in the midst of that to share the good news. Because God uses circumstances like this in order to open doors for us to be able to share, to share our faith and what our hope is. Jesus Christ. Pray with me. Lord, I ask that you would help us to see the opportunity opportunity to share your good news with people who have yet to place their faith in you. And thank you, Lord, for your love and for your forgiveness for us. And we pray, Lord, that you would help us to see how you use even the worst circumstances to bring people to you. We pray this in Jesus' name. Okay, friends. Sorry we're a little late today. Can't promise we'll be any earlier tomorrow since it's a Saturday, but we'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. Have a good day.